Ah. Ah. Morning. We are officially done with you and Olsen and the team overkill. We've gotten rid of everybody. We've got all of our cards back. I think you guys saw what the, uh, what the week looked like and it was really fun. So thanks for everybody who came over from Ian Olsen's channel and also from all the other channels that have come over and people that have subscribed. Um, weather's absolutely crap in Vancouver right now. Uh, the forecast isn't much better. We wanted to get a vlog done, so we thought we'd do a Q&A. There's been a few things that have happened since, uh, well, in the past month or two that we haven't shown. The play button arrived. Oh, that. So we should show you guys that now. All right, as you can see, Bentley is super excited, right? Are you excited? Face on. We have finally gotten a present on your face. face from YouTube. Oh, Trevin, you should get over here and watch this. Look at this. You're as responsible for this as I am. And Chris also. Oh, wait. Are you excited? So, Bradley Freezing, YouTube. Um, sorry, buddy. Dun, dun, dun. You've just done something very few creator, YouTube creators accomplished. You had an astonishing 100,000 people subscribed to your channel. We know numbers on YouTube can get really big. Hope you don't lose sight of the reality behind this awesome stuff. I can read. Uh, we did it! <laughs> Bentley, pound it! Pound it! Good boy! <laughs> I love your sweater. And Chris, come on, get in here. Booyah. And here we go. Boom, Bradley Freezing. Congratulations for surpassing 100,000 subscribers. We did this uh, five months ago. We thought we were never going to get it. And it finally showed up just in time for just after Christmas. So thanks, everybody. Really appreciate this. This is going on the wall. And um, Bentley. He doesn't care. Here over it. First question I got was after I put it out on my Instagram was from Jack Kenna. And he said, Mr. Friesen, why you made events of this before, but why did you choose helicopter over an airplane? Seems like so many go for an airplane. Literally I was 18 years old, I wanted to fly, and I thought, what do I want to be when I grow up? Like and basically, what did chicks do? I'm not gonna be a professional athlete, I'm not gonna be a rock star, I'm not gonna be a um, a lot of things. So I thought helicopter. And so that's literally why I decided to go help him. Second question, how did you teach Bentley to moonwalk? I love him very much, the most intelligent bulldog that I've ever seen. That was from Manluso14. Um, Bentley did not get taught how to moonwalk. He does it out of a kind of a fear reaction of hard, shiny floors. And um, so yeah, it's just something he does. Uh, we try to minimize the, the exposure to it. Patrick, H-R-K-A-C. Hey Bradley, but I hope you can include these in the AMA. I wanted to ask if I did the renovations on Mexico House myself, where did I learn construction? And also, what was the craziest helicopter experience, um, pilot experience? Um, I did construction growing up. I always did construction. I did all the demo myself. I did all of the, um, the laying everything out, I did the, the, the floor plan, I, everything. Uh, I crashed my motorbike in the middle of working on the place. I hurt my shoulder really bad. I locked the door for almost two years. Um, and then I ended up hiring a contractor uh, to help me um, finish it. So I did a lot of construction as a kid, more as a, an unskilled trade, um, but I did a lot of stuff myself. Quinto751 asks, will you take me flying? I only live a few minutes away from the airport. Thought it was worth a try. I don't do charter, I can't do charter, I can't do for hire or reward stuff, and that's why I don't respond to a lot of questions, because for me it would cause me a license fine or suspension, so I don't do hire or reward. And that kind of comes to the next question, Clarion26 wondered if I could ever give away a trip in the chopper, and unfortunately I can't do that either, because um, putting a prize value on something computes a a reward or a value which then falls under hire or reward so I can't actually give away trips he said in a follow-up who should we hire to book trips like we do on the vlog sky helicopters um, they're fantastic Bryce um, don't do it don't do it sky helicopters they're awesome this is a good one MTTKZK what is the favorite of all my neato t-shirts this one Paranoid traffic cone. He thinks that everybody's avoiding him. Next question. Huh? 
Favorite pizza topping? Oh yeah, somebody asked that. Favorite pizza topping for me, I like feta. Um, Ooh, going off the board, I like it. Yeah, I like feta, ground beef, and fresh tomatoes, uncooked tomatoes. I'm going sausage. Whatever you want to put on a pizza, Bentley likes. Another question for Bentley. Can I come over and play with Bentley? Um, you know, we should do a, uh, we were going to do a day for at the park for Bentley's birthday, and we should do that. So, um, possibly we'll figure something out. It'll be on Bentley's channel, Mr. Bentley the dog. Okay, Russ now asked, does the change in elevation hurt the dog's ears in the helicopter, or for my ears for that matter? Uh, no, I've never been to Northern Ontario, it's the second part of that. But I don't know, Bentley doesn't tell me, so what I do is I keep the descents in the helicopter at 500 feet per minute or less when Bentley's in. I don't have any issues with fast descents, I can do 2,000 foot a minute, no problem. Trevin says that he's good. I'm good. He's good. So, dog, we don't know, so we just take it slow on the way down with him. Next question, which YouTuber are you most excited to work with? Ooh. Dude Perfect. Uh, I think we can do some really cool things with Dude Perfect. I'm really excited. I contacted NerdWriter. I really like NerdWriter, and I really like H3H3. I think Ethan's really funny. Ethan is hilarious. Uh, and Hila's really cool, too. Hila's cool. Ethan's. I love her art. Absolutely hilarious. Somebody asked, <clears throat> favorite piece of camera equipment? That was Dustin James B. Or filming equipment. What would be your famous? I love tool? drones. 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 Drones give you a shot, give you a new perspective that you just—it's like it blows your mind every time, no matter what. Mine would be um, the GoPro. Uh, the fact that you can capture all this stuff—I can set it up. I don't have to touch it. I can capture all this stuff with uh, just a wearable action cam that you can buy at the shelf. To me, it's—I I love GoPros. I love GoPros too. That was hard for him to admit. <laughs> I don't love GoPro, I love GoPros. I wish that they came out with a 60 frames per second uh, 4K GoPro in this Hero 5. But what I do love about the Hero 5 is the battery life. Somebody was asking, Trevin, what do you edit on? What are the programs you use? Final Cut Pro and After Effects. What do you use the After Effects for? Squiggles. And tattoos. He puts face tattoos. Ewan Olsen has like a gangster And Devin up. had one as well. Devin had a little tattoo. Who's your favorite commenter? Who's my favorite commenter? I like the guy that's always like, first down vote. I don't know where he's been lately, but he would always be like, bam, first down vote. And you know, like, the commitment to being a dick is kind of funny. Like, you know, we work hard on the videos. Like, you see we put a lot of effort in and then like, <laughs> bam, in your face. It's like, yeah, I can respect that. I think my yeah. favorite commenter is the very angry person. Because right. he's not angry. He's so nice. He's so positive. He's the, you're a really nice guy. Yeah. But you, I bet you you could be angry. I could see you yeah. like... With that avatar? That's oh, yeah. scary. It's like, it's a, it's a intense avatar. avatar. No. What's been your best uh, YouTube experience? What's been my best YouTube experience? Um, the collaborations. I mean, I absolutely love taking people who can show... BC out into the wilderness and stuff and you know like the first guy I think the first guy who came up was Destin from Smarter Every Day and that was another YouTuber um, Flight Chops who reached out to him when he knew he was coming to Vancouver and said you gotta get in touch with this guy and I just like YouTube is such a cool community where people are like legitimately helping each other out and um, that's something that we want to do later on when as we grow we want to kind of give back and we are going to try to take smaller channels out and um and uh, let them try to help other people grow because that's the only way we've grown is through collaborations and to me that's been the coolest thing and that's something I want to share back and kind of like help people as we grow. I think we've had a lot of really cool experiences playing hockey with NHL players, all with meeting Casey, all these other YouTubers. Um, I think the coolest thing about YouTube though is there's a level of trust amongst all the creators where you can reach out to someone who you've never met and the next day they're up here and they're spending the weekend with you. It's just like a, community. a, a camaraderie. A sense of community. Yeah, a community. It's a community. It's a family. Hey, let's show you Bentley's new trick. Okay. <laughs>
see me rolling. They hate it. We got to talk about the truck. Ah, oh, yeah. So um, my lease is up on my vehicle in the next couple months. And literally when I got my license when I was 18, I had a Ford F-150. And my dream was always to land on like a snowmobile deck on the back of the truck. And last year, my buddy Al and Beth got a snowmobile deck built and he built it a little bit bigger so I could land on the back of his truck and it was super cool. So now we're hauling all this gear into the mountains, snowmobiles and stuff. I need a truck. Having a station wagon doesn't cut it anymore. So taking a page out of the Ewan Olsen playbook, we got to do a kick-ass vehicle. Be exciting. I think we got to do a kick-ass vehicle. We're going to land the helicopter on the back of the pickup truck and basically every video it's going to be a character because we have so much gear, long lines, all this stuff. I need all the gear and uh, I want to land on the back of the truck. And I think it's a given that we painted the same color as the helicopter. We're going to wrap it. Yeah, we'll have to wrap it for sure. Yeah. I think we're going to do like a crew body um, uh, with a service body on the back so we have like access to like long lines and all that sort of stuff but have a snowmobile deck so we can haul things but we can land the helicopter. So if you see a helicopter parked downtown Vancouver. Yeah, on the back of a pickup truck, that's probably us. So, uh, yeah, Oreo has the contest uh, where you dunk something. No drones were harmed in the making of this dunk. It's good, going good? So far, so, so good. We haven't tried to are dunk him yet. We are in absolutely no way being paid by Oreo, but Oreo's got this thing where they have a dunk challenge. So the way the race is going to work, uh, pick up the Oreo with the drone, dunk it into your respective cup, and then we have to lay down while flying the drone, each respective, try not to crash into each other, bring the drone and put it into our own mouth. Sounds pretty straightforward. <laughs> Should be easy enough. Yeah. If you see any cuts on my face later or less beer, then you know something went wrong. Gentlemen, start your engine. All right guys, so hope you enjoyed that. I know that wasn't one of our better videos, but sometimes we have to do these because we can't always go flying. So thanks for watching.